Hello there. Good afternoon to you. We hold on to a brisk easterly wind as we head through the second half of this weekend. Good afternoon to you. Looks like we're expecting to see the first significant chill of the winter as we move into this upcoming week. Northerly winds will bring Arctic air down across the whole country as we move through this uh, upcoming week. Things turning much colder with increasing chance of snow, maybe some disruptive snow across northern Scotland around the middle parts of the week. And overnight will be very cold, widespread frost and ice to contend with. I just want to introduce you to perhaps the youngest England fan here, Archie, who's just two months old. <laughs> <laughs> oh right okay Archie <laughs> that is so sweet Dan Johnson there in Penniston Good evening. Weather for our first full week of December is on the change. It's got a wintry flavour to it as well and it's all due to wind direction. So if you haven't already got the message as we move through our week ahead, yes it's going to get colder with some snow showers and certainly some widespread frost. Hello again. Hope you've all had a lovely Sunday so far. Well, it certainly has been feeling pretty chilly across the capital throughout this weekend. It's going to be feeling even colder as we go through the next few days. But overall, still plenty of dry weather in the forecast. And the good news is if you have been tucked underneath a lot of cloud in recent days, we should be getting to see more in the way of sunshine later in the week. Thanks, Anita. 1st of December, first day of meteorological winter, so I thought it was apt to look back at autumn. Now, we were desperate for rain, many areas under the influence of host pipe ban. And this chart here, anywhere white or blue, shows that during the autumn we had above average rainfall, just the far north of Scotland, actually, that saw below average rain. So, yes, it was wet, but it was also pretty warm as well. In fact, autumn 2022, the third warmest on record, so we are still on track for the warmest year ever. In fact, with each month this year so far, we have seen above average temperatures. The only thing that can scupper the plan is if we have record-breaking cold in December. I'm not saying we're going to get that, but certainly this week we have a massive gear change with the weather trend, turning noticeably colder. Yes, there's going to be a chance of snow. I'll tell you when and where in just a moment, but widespread frosts right across the country. So what has been happening to our weather story over the last few days? And we've been under this influence of high pressure. And yes, easterly winds have brought colder air, but it's going to get colder still because the isobars, well, they start to go up to the north. And so, yes, the air is now starting to come from a northerly direction. But the Met Office has issued an early weather warning out for snow. Even at lower levels, we could see accumulations of two to 10 centimetres quite widely. So that is worth bearing in mind. It looks likely to stay cold throughout the week with little significant change. Make sure you wrap up warm. Good night.